In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix eFootball 2024 black screen. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple methods to fix any issues attributed to eFootball 2024 not launching. Keep in mind that for this video, I'm going to focus on solutions that work for the PC version of the game. If you are having trouble on mobile, then unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that these options are going to work for you. So first, inside of Steam, find eFootball 2024, right-click the game, go over to Properties, and then Installed Files. Under Installed Files for eFootball 2024, you will find this option, Verify this game's files are installed correctly. Basically, this option is going to scan all the files that were installed in your computer by Steam, and if it detects that any of the files necessary to run eFootball 2024 were missing or corrupt during their download, they are going to be reacquired. So this is one of the simpler ways to fix any issues attributed to the game. Once you are done verifying the integrity of the game files, just try launching it again. If it doesn't work, then you can consider reinstalling it completely, but I know a lot of people have slow internet speeds, so of course, this isn't usually the first option that you would take. Now, what I would recommend if this doesn't work is to right click the Windows icon, go over to the device manager, and in here you will be able to find the display adapters on your computer, also known as the graphics card that you have if you have a dedicated GPU. Now, if you don't see AMD or NVIDIA in here, and instead you see something like Intel Integrated Graphics, it could mean that the hardware that you have on your computer simply isn't able to run eFootball 2024. Depending on the CPU that you have, you might be able to get an integrated GPU in there, but if you notice that your display adapter does not say AMD or NVIDIA, what I would recommend is that you right-click it and then update driver. Follow the instructions on screen and let Windows search automatically for drivers. If you notice that you have an AMD or NVIDIA GPU, note down the model name, open up a web browser, and you will be able to visit the website for your respective manufacturer. So for example, I have an AMD GPU, so I would go to the AMD website, select my series of GPU, AMD Radeon, RX 7000, and then 7900 XCX. Of course, if you have something from NVIDIA, just go over to their website instead, choose the series of GPU, the model, and then download the drivers. As long as you update your graphics drivers, you should be able to play any game without any issues. The last thing that I would recommend is to download and update DirectX if you haven't already. I hope I was able to help you on how to play eFootball 2024 and fix black screen. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.